I rise to support, Mr. Speaker, of H.R. 36, the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, also known as MICA's law. This bill prohibits most elective abortions at 20 weeks after fertilization and thereafter. That's the beginning of the fifth month of pregnancy. That's the point in a pregnancy when a substantial body of medical evidence shows that a baby in the womb can feel pain. H.R. 36 is humane legislation for innocent babies and for mothers. It includes exceptions for the life of the mother and exceptions in the case of rape and incest. Additionally, this bill imposes criminal liability only on the medical professional performing that abortion, not on the mother. Mr. Speaker, there is broad consensus within the medical community. Babies at five months in the womb are not only able to feel pain, they can hear music, they can even respond to human voices. America is one of only seven countries in the world that still allows elective late-term abortions, joining North Korea and China. Today, we understand so much more about a baby's development during a pregnancy. Voluntarily terminating the life of an innocent baby when we know that baby can feel pain can no longer be acceptable. And a majority of Americans agree. Hearts and minds are changing. How many of us have marveled at the vivid sonogram images of a soon-to-be-born son, niece, or grandchild? How many of us have been amazed and so very grateful that babies born early, as early as 20 weeks, have a very real chance of survival? Mr. Speaker, this bill reflects today's medical understanding about a baby's ability to feel pain. Micah's law reflects those changing hearts and minds of Americans. Micah's law reflects the higher aspirations of this nation, a truly moral nation, to foster a culture of life. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting H.R. 36, and with that, Mr. Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time.